to the Vaishnava, oh Vaishnava Goswami, please be merciful to me now. There is no one except you who can purify the fallen souls. What does anyone find? Where does anyone find such a merciful personality by whose mere audience all sins go far away? After bathing in the waters of the sacred Ganges, many times one becomes purified, but just by the sight of you, the fallen souls are purified. This is your great power. The holy name delivers one who has committed an offense to Lord Hari. But if one commits an offense to you, there is no means of deliverance. Your heart is always the resting place of Lord Govinda. And Lord Govinda says, the Vaishnavas are in my heart. I desire the dust of your holy feet in every birth I may take. Please consider Naratam yours and be kind upon him. The only way to rectify an offense to a Vaishnav is by going to the Vaishnav and submitting oneself to the Vaishnav. There's no other means. Not by prayer, not by chanting, not by going to Krishna. One has to go to the devotee and beg forgiveness and pray for rectification. So, this is a very nice song. We'll start the service to the Vaishnavas in this case. <clears throat> Madanga. Who's on Madanga? Ebaro karuna kohoro Vaishnava Gosai Ebahara Koruna Koro Vaishnava Gosai Patita Pavanatoma Pine Kehona Patita Pavana Toma Pine Kehona Jahara Nikote Kele Papu Dure Jahara Nikate Kele Papa Dure Jai Emono Doyala Prabhu Keva Kota Pai Emana Doyala Prabhu Keva Kota Pai Jangara Para Shahoyle Pashate Pava Pashata Pava Dashane Ovitro Koro Etoma Dashane Petra Koro Horistane Aparadhe Tade Horinam Horistane Aparadhe Tare Harinam Tomastane Aparadhe 
nahe pare tra tomara ridhoye sada govinda vi Tijan me kori asha Charane raduli Tijan me kori asha Charane raduli Narotame koro doya apana arboli Narotame koro Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 
Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hante Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare. Go pray, Mandi. Hare Nama, Sankirtan, Ki Jai. Vaishnava, Seva, Ki Jai. Namo Vishnu Padaya. Krishna, Prasthaya, Bhutale. Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvasesha Sanyavati Pastichare Shatarine Om Jnana Timurandasya Dhananjana Shalakaya Takshura Militami Naha Tazmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobhistam Tapitam Yena Bhutale Shvayam Rupa Gadamayam Tadati Svapatanti Kam Vande Hang Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakama Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Upam Sagajatam Sagana Ragana Sa Itam Tam Sajivam Sadvetam Sabadutam Padijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam 
Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bando Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanto Radha Mukute Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Vrindavaneshvare Rishabhano Sukhe Devi Pranamame Hare Kriye Vancha Kalpata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bia Evyascha Patitana Abhanevyo Vaishnavevyo Namo Namaha Tuvyascha Kripa Sindhu Bia Evyascha Patitana Abhanevyo Vaishnavevyo Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Kadadhar Shri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Adveta Kadadha Shiva Sari Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare
रे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गो प्रेम हरे कृष्णा वेलकम एवरीबॉडी दिस इवनिंग एंड maybe we'll intersperse with a, a song and then some questions if you have any and uh, like that we'll try to spend the next one hour krishna wills and you will you're welcome to ask a question something relevant to krishna consciousness I hope she to provo. She said a question about the question in past times to classify that. Uh this is correct technology because it's very common. Uh we will have more than that in the moments. Interesting question. Of course is not something to speculate on it's not it's something which we would have to hear from realized souls for sure lord chaitanya mahaprabhu as petita pavan as the deliverer of the fallen souls one interesting thing in understanding of this of how the living entities whether they just remain one day of the life of lord brahma maximum you could say in this universe and then they're all delivered in one whole sale sweep vasudeva datta appears performs his past times and lord chaitanya reciprocates if you don't know this past time vasudeva datta is a expansion or plot is an expansion of vasudeva datta whatever it is whichever way we look at it vasudeva datta represents that um opulence of the lord of absolute compassion for the living entities compassion is the most intricate intimate uh, characteristic or quality of the heart of the pure vaishnava compassion is a very deep subject is not based just upon mundane um let's say definition it is the nature of the living entity in eternity the compassion is entirely um for let's say satisfying the heart of krishna the devotee always feels compassion for krishna now what does that mean in other words the devotee is always feeling how to increase the lord's pleasure feeling the lord maybe because of my lack of devotion or my whatever the lord's pleasure could be more if more devotees were performing more service and bringing more pleasure to krishna or as service could be more pleasing whatever it is the devotee always feels lacking like that i just want to bring more pleasure to krishna that's their heart so this mood of a vaishnava compassion is the foundational root of all other interactions qualities etc this radharan is she's a compassion said to be the compassionate expansion of the lord to expand krishna's pleasure and preaching in this world has the same root although it may not be understood with the same perspective we talk about delivering the four and souls but the root of it is to increase krishna's pleasure because we're always part and parcel obviously krishna wants all the living entities to wake up or return back to god at whatever you want to call it reconnect it's only a natural emotion everyone would feel 
if you lose that which you, belongs to you, in this case it does belong to Krishna, and the material it doesn't really belong to us, but when something is lost which we think belongs to us, the greatest service you can do for that person is to reconnect whatever is lost with them. So it's reconnecting living entities with God. And so Vasudeva Dutta, you could say, is the manifestation of that um, spirit, that mood. Um, it's, he was, in the Chaitanya Charitam, we read how he, as if many pastimes you could say may be there, but predominantly this particular pastime, which Adoshi Prabhu has mentioned, how Vasudeva Dutta appeared, ap approached the Lord, requesting the Lord to please deliver all the living entities in the universe and let him stay here if necessary and uh, suffer all the reactions of all the living entities, but just please release them from this material world and take them back back to Godhead. It's quite a, um, astonishing. It's not just those who surrender unto me, but he was willing, even whoever they may be, just release them. Uh, such a compassionate mentality is, is almost uh, impossible to perceive or conceive of. Um, so he, uh, Lord Chaitanya said, it's not necessary, just by your will alone, I've delivered all the living entities back to Godhead. So um, how does that work? Is it once every day? Well, I can't say it's not, but I don't have a Shastric quote to say it definitely is. But from that pastime where Lord Chaitanya does appear once in day of Lord Brahma within this universe, that that particular pastime, whether that pastime takes place in every Kali Yuga, I do not know. But this is the mood of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to deliver all the living entities back to Godhead. So one may say, well, what are we doing here then? If this is true, that this particular millennium, it is true. Vasudeva Dutta appeared with this mission, with this mood. So why are we still here? Well, this is a unique feature of understanding the difference between the body and the soul. The body is a vehicle, just like if you sell your car to someone, the car is still there, you're not there, someone else is there. The same car hasn't changed. It's exactly the same car. There's nothing to say that by, we have the pastime of Lord Brahma trying to steal away the calves and the cows, cowherd boys rather, um, in, the, in the pasturing grounds, trying to steal them away. Um, and Krishna himself expands, and nobody could tell that anyone was gone although he stole them, put them in, ca in caves, whatever. Krishna expanded himself in identical forms of calves and coward boys to the extent that no one could even recognize any difference in their moods, their behavior, their forms. Everything about them was identical. With their very boys themselves and the very calves themselves. Same form, same be subtle and gross appeared the same, but in one sense, the living entity was different. In this case, it was Krishna expanding himself in each and every form. In the uh, And of course, he manifested new forms as well, but they were identical. But in the material world, that, that the living entity is in this particular body. Krishna can deliver them on the spot if he wants. It doesn't have to be even at the end of the lifetime. And another living entity can immediately be, be appearing in that particular body with no one, with no any difference has taken place. It's possible. Of course, if all living entities are changed, then of course nobody would know anyway. But this is impossible. So nothing is impossible. Krishna could do anything. So I can't really answer that. If this is an absolute fact, that in every day of Lord Brahma, it's very interesting. But we do know that this is a very special. Lord Chaitanya is the most merciful uh, form of Krishna, most magnanimous form of the Lord and his followers in the same mood are, in one sense, even more magnanimous, at least in the case of Vasudeva Dutta, unlimited um, compassion for the living entities. It's by the way, it's another beautiful pastime. This is in the, um, see the pastime of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Shivananda Sain, a very close associate of, of Vasudeva Dutta, actually. Shivananda Sain was more organized when it came to, um, let's say, managing things. So he would manage the, uh, the, the party of devotees, including Vasudev Dutta, um, or hundreds and hundreds and thousands maybe, who would go every year to Puri to see Lord Chaitanya from Navadweep, from Bengal. 
So he was like the manager of that party, organizing the accommodation, prasadam, everything. Toll, if there's any tolls to pay, going through various um, crossings of rivers and so on and so forth. But Sivananda Singh was the best organizer. So, And uh, he was also quite well to do. So he organized all these various journeys to Mayapur, uh, to Jagannath Puri every year. And one time, one dog, uh, a street dog, a wild street, ordinary street dog, um, joined the party and followed the party. And we didn't want to go anywhere else, just as if he was one of the devotees going to Puri. And uh, and uh, Shivananda Sain accepted his dog as one of the party after a while. It was clearly obvious that this dog was intentions were the same to go to Puri to get the darshan of Mahaprabhu. So the Shivananda Sain accepted him as just like everybody else. He would make sure he got fed, make sure he had someone to stay, even they would come sometimes to rivers. And the boatman would say, I'm not taking any dog. Shivananda Sain would bargain and pay a lot more for the dog to cross the river than the humans sometimes. And sometimes he'd, whatever it was, he'd always make sure the dog got what it needed. He was one of the pilgrims. He had to be looked after like everyone else. One time, uh, Shivananda Singh was held up at a, um, a toll gate or some customs spot. He was held up. The party had to go forward. They went forward for the, in the evening. And uh, late night, um, late in the evening, Shivananda Singh finally reached the party. But he looked all around and he saw that the dog was not there. And he was making sure everyone got what they needed, food. He said, where's the dog? Nobody knew. Then he asked, did everyone take prasadam? Yes. Then he said, did you feed the dog? They said, oh, no, because they forgot he wasn't there. So the dog had left. It wasn't fed. So the dog left the party. She even on the same was very disturbed. He sent devotees out in every direction to look for that dog, but nobody could find the dog. She even on the same then fasted for the rest of the journey because of the offense which he felt he committed to the dog. And uh, so then they went on the journey, on to Puri. Some days later, they arrived in Puri, and they went to take Darshan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The dog was sat right next to Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya was personally feeding the dog. And uh, the next day, it said that dog was seen no more. It went straight back to Godhead. So what's the moral of that? Prabhupada said that if you become a dog of a Vaishnava, it doesn't mean literally a dog, but it means like the faithful servant of a Vaishnava, then your path back to Godhead is guaranteed, just like that dog went back to Godhead. It wasn't chanting 16 rounds, maybe following the four regs or not, but it wasn't chanting 16 rounds. But it was, according to the Christian, it was a completely faithful, um, taking shelter of Shivananda Singh completely. And Shivananda Singh, by his mercy, that dog was delivered. And Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada writes in the purport, just as the dog of Shivananda Singh went back to Godhead by the goodness of, Shiv, of, of Shivananda Singh himself, similarly, if all of my disciples become pure devotees like Shivananda Singh, by their good wishes alone, all the living entities in the universe will go back to Godhead even without their knowledge. So it's a very powerful thing, the mercy of the Vaishnava. We can't see it externally. We can't measure it externally. Nothing is impossible. We shouldn't take it for granted. That doesn't matter. That's going to happen anyway. I'll just hang around. One lifetime of Brahma is not too bad. You know, it could be worse. It's only 320 trillion years, um, but whatever. <laughs> um, it's more or less eternity for living. And then on top of that, then one has to remain, um, of course, in the during that period of time, sometimes in the in the in the womb of Garbhadakshya Vishnu, whatever you want to call it, in the form, or in the form of Mahavishnu before the next universe comes out, another long period of dormant or sleep, etc. Um, but you know, we're not here just to, to 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 think like that. We're here to go back to God. Why we want to quickly increase Krishna's pleasure. So whatever it may be, what the what position such personalities or such um, in the jivas take if they go back to God that we do not know uh, whether they're I mean there's no mood in their hearts necessarily at least at that point of a direct service to Krishna it may be a neutral stage who knows but we're more interested in developing a personal 
positive, active relationship with the Lord. Um, and not just depend upon just being let out of the prison by the king all of a sudden. All the prisoners are let out and still remaining a prisoner. Or not remaining a prisoner, excuse me, but still remaining with a criminal mentality. We want to develop the devotional mentality um, for the pleasure of Krishna. And we know what pleases Krishna the most. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya is encouraging everyone to uh, please Krishna the most. And the Sanctam movement is the means by which we can both become eligible and develop that attraction or that natural flow of devotion towards the Lord for his pleasure. But I don't know, that's a very interesting topic. Maybe maybe it's explained somewhere more than that, I don't know. Good. Meditation, Vasudev Dutta, deliver all the living entities back to Godhead through the Sangatam movement and by good wishes. We may not be so qualified, what can we do? We can't even deliver ourselves, because we can't do that either, really. It's up to Krishna, but in the sense that we're not ourselves fixed in pure devotional service necessarily. But still, good wishes are manifested through going out and distributing Krishna consciousness to others. And to the devotees, charity begins at home to the devotees in our community, being enthusiastically and to encourage the devotees, being appreciative of devotees, to help serve the devotees' service, don't offend the devotees. We were discussing earlier how to become stronger in Krishna consciousness, how to avoid falling down, etc. Well, the best way to fall down is to offend the devotee, quickest and uh, most, you know, we can say, sure way. So we try never to offend the Vaishnava. We may not agree, we may not understand, um, but we should never be a try what sometimes it happens, we know. We should try to never be offensive towards the Vaishnavas, no matter who they are. We may have to externally deal with their external behavior, etc., but internally never feel offensive towards the Vaishnava, no matter how small or let's say uh, immature they may be. We're not so not so mature either. So try to always avoid offenses to the Vaishnavas. And that way we'll be Hope is always there that we can um, awaken pure devotional service or awaken in our hearts. Sorry, I can't, I can't say much more. I don't know much more. But it's interesting meditation. Maybe we discuss it somewhere in a more advanced association if it was more advanced than myself. Not difficult to find them. Any other questions? Yes. So in the same vein about the Shivananda saying going to a Jagannath Puri, there was one time when Lord Nityananda got upset with him and cursed all his sons to die. So can you explain yeah. to us how that's compassionable? <laughs> Compassion is a unique feature, isn't it? It doesn't sound very compassionate. One time, um, yeah, when Shivananda saying got held, held up again, one gate, one crossing, and uh, not proper arrangements had been made for Nityananda. Nityananda was in the party that year, must have been a year after he was told to go back to Bengal by Lord Chaitanya, because he was there before that. And uh, he got quite upset. With Shivananda saying, for not arranging proper prasadam or proper accommodation, and Lord Nityananda became, when Shivananda saying finally came there, he became very angry and and Lord Nishananda, for his pure offense towards me, he kicked him in the chest. Boom. <clears throat> you ever been kicked in the chest? Ever been kicked in the chest? I've been kicked in the chest twice in my life. Once on a bus in Malaysia. That was an incredible experience. There was this really strange old lady in the seat in front of me. They have very big buses in Malaysia with big seats. They go back like beds, and you pay money to have this night bus, you know, so you can put the seat back. She was behind me, not in front. And uh, you're supposed to, you know, everyone, pay, you know, the seat goes right back. It's like a bed. It's like amazing. They have fantastic buses. And so I was there. I was really tired in the seat, and she was behind me. It was a single seat, not double, single. And... I wanted to put my seat back, but she stuffed all of her bags and boxes behind my seat. I couldn't move it an inch. 
not an inch. It was like this all night long. And I asked, asked her if she could, you know, please move her bags a little bit so I could put, and then I, I tried to put it back a little bit and she came with her right leg and she kicked me in the chest with her right leg. And she was really a strange creature. I never seen, she wasn't normal. She was really weird. I mean, I don't want to get into what type of weirdness, but she was really, really weird. Um, I mean, a lot of that stuff goes on in Malaysia. So I didn't pursue it any further because I knew that was, a, that was just a warning of what could come next. Um, so I didn't go over there. Another time I got kicked in the chest was in Nor um, Sweden. In Sweden. We were traveling with Parashuram Prabhu in Sweden, um, going doing Rathiatas from town to town. We just went it was near near a place called um, what's the second city of Norway of Sweden called after Stockholm? You've got Malmo, Nor Coping, this one. Um, Gutenberg. Gutenberg. I think it's Gutenberg, right? Second city of Sweden, Gutenberg. We were parked just outside of Gutenberg in some kind of by some lake there and some kind of, you know, camping area. We, we parked there for the night. We had this van, two, we had several vehicles, one big kind of van with some bunks inside it. So I was sleeping in there. My Vishnu Swami was sleeping in there. And uh, I think there's just the two of us sleeping in there and others were sleeping in other things in tents and there's some other vehicles. Uh, about 20 or 30 of us traveling. And then in the middle of the night, I had to get up to go to the toilet past water. So I went out, opened the door quietly as I could, not to wake Mahavishnu Swami. Then I came back as quietly as I could. I opened the door. It was very dark. I had a little torch. It's very dark. And suddenly, Mahavishnu Swami, he didn't kick me. It wasn't a kick. I got it wrong, but it was a hit. He got up in the middle of the night. And they did get up because I came back in. He suddenly sprang out of his bed and flew towards me. And it wasn't a kick. It was actually a punch. And Boom! He hammered me in the chest like this. I flew backwards. Oh! Full swing. He full on bang. I was, uh, 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 uh. Then he woke up. <laughs> it, he was, it was a spontaneous thing in his sleep. And apparently when he was a child, he had some thing. And, it was something to do with that, but he was very careful sleeping in, a, in the same room with my Vishnu Swami ever since then. <laughs> he tells his story over and over again, so it's not don't get him. It's not embarrassing him. He tells everywhere he goes. Whenever I'm with him, he tells everyone on the, in, the, in, the, in the audience this story. Yeah. Quite an extraordinary experience. It took me five or six days to recover. I missed the next two Rathiatras, and. Uh, <laughs> It didn't break anything, but it was like bruising and I kept struggling to move and I couldn't move properly. Well, they got to quite be careful when you're around my Vishnu Swami. He packs quite a heavy punch, I tell you. Luckily, I got strong bones. Uh, anyway, that's kind of off the mark, really. But I mean, this kick in the chest, Shivan and the same, was, you know, and then he cursed him. I cursed your three sons to die. Of course, she even on the saint's wife was there. She started crying and crying, obviously. Ah, no! Because everyone knew Lord Nishinanda is not like an ordinary person. This is not an ordinary pastime, by the way. A very intimate pastime. And then uh, she even on the saint said, uh, this is the least, let my three sons die for the offense that I've committed to Lord Nishinanda. So how is this related to compassion? What would you say? How is it related to compassion? Depending on what you see as compassion. Depends how we define compassion. We define it internally or externally. If we define, if we define it externally, you would say this is not really much of a sign of compassion, is it? For instance, if you go on the street and distribute books and someone says no and you just punch them on the face, beat them to the ground and start kicking them, well, you might say it's compassion, but it's not normally seen as compassion. Just because he didn't take a book. <laughs> Imagine if the devotees did that every time they went out. We wouldn't last very long, of course, but <laughs> it's hardly the, hardly the mood of a Vaishnava normally. So what's going on here? 
that you know, Shivan Singh did everything he could. Someone that he didn't expect to get held up. He just somehow trying his best, and he ends up being kicked in the chest with his three sons being cursed to die by Lord Nityananda. So what, what's going on here? Is there anything more to it, or is it just something to laugh at? Hmm? Pardon? There is always more to it. We may not be able to see. These, these two pastimes have many layers of understanding according to one's advancement or according to one's situation. Um, called Adhikar, one's eligibility. So different seen in different ways. Of course, the sons didn't die. He, in one sense, it could be seen as a test. Lord Nityananda testing Shivananda saying he didn't get angry in the least. You see, a devotee on his own behalf we say for his sons, but still it's like his own self, and uh, did not become angry when he was um, chastised like this, but rather he accepted it. So that's one aspect, is his, his humility or his um, tolerance, etc. And that's one thing, he didn't become angry, which we normally flare up when such a thing like this goes on, or counter curse. There are many examples of this in the Vedas, in the pastimes of the Lord, and in Chaitanya Charitamrita, um, pastimes of the Chaitanya, of the behavior of, your, of a pure devotee where he just accepts the Lord's chastisement as the greatest mercy. And mercy is, is of course, compassion or in, 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 inseparable. So it's mercy. Uh, from the material point of view, you can say one's becoming purified. The curse of Lord Nityananda is the greatest blessing one can receive, you could say. There are many times devotees appear to curse, but their curse is simply for the deliverance of the cursed, to help free them from whatever situation, or show others by the example um, of behavior. Another thing is, one should be very careful about offending the spiritual master. Lord Nityananda is Adi Guru, the original spiritual master. So you have to be very, very careful not to offend the representative of Lord Nityananda, the spiritual master. Um, Lord Nityananda is the original spiritual master. So um, in this way, one has to be very, very, very careful. He's, Lord Chaitanya and his associates, at least Lord Nityananda and Lord Chaitanya, would teach extremities. And it's not that that would be necessarily applied to such an extreme case, but they would teach just like Lord Chaitanya taught through Haridas Jr., not Haridas Thakur, but one other associate of Lord Chaitanya was known as Haridas too, Haridas Jr. What did he teach through him? And this is like something with this modern age we live in, which is like uh, probably wouldn't go down very easily. But what did he teach him? You have to be uh, strict in Sanyas Ashram and no, uh, no interaction with the females. Yeah, for those in the Sanyas Ashram, Lord Chaitanya had no end of female followers and he loved his Grihasta disciples. He encouraged them in every way to have children. Very fine, first class, sweet, tasty rice. Lord Chaitanya loves rice. In Bengalis, all risen Aryans, more or less everyone in India loves rice, more or less. Maybe not in Punjab, but everywhere they love rice. And uh, this rice was so good, Lord Chaitanya said, where on earth did you get such fine rice? Then he found out that actually um, Haridas Jr., had gone to the house of Madhavi Devi. She was a wife of Sikhi Mahiti, another great devotee. And she was also one of the topmost devotees. She was one considered Lord Chaitanya had, you know, just a few confidential so most confidential associates. She was amongst those considered like that. She was really an, an advanced soul, to say the least. So he went to her house and she, he begged this rice to prepare this for Lord Chaitanya. And when Lord Chaitanya heard that, he was very upset. That you were in the sannyas order of life and you have alone because there was no one else around apparently and you have gone and associated with a woman um there was no lust on his mind practically speaking maybe a fraction of a thought of a woman but no lust practically but lord chaitanya was teaching this strictness of the sannyas order so and through different devotees he was teaching different uh, different uh, lessons you could say tolerance 
respect, in this case, you know, proper behavior, etiquettes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. More or less all of his devotees, he had various lessons to teach to them for the public, for the people, for the devotees in general. So um, with uh, Shivananda saying, I don't know what more you can say. Maybe there's more written there in the purport, I can't remember, with his being kicked in the chest. And this wonderful uh, example of his response is, is, in many ways, it's not so much the ish incident as how we respond to it. That is the uh, measuring rod of our you know, devotion in many ways, rather than, you know, we may make mistakes, all of us make mistakes, no doubt, but it's how we respond. We try to defend them, we try to attack the, 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 the other person or whatever it may be, deny, defend, attack. These are not the natures of, of a Vaishnava's heart. He sees that the, the Lord's acting in such a way, this is the compassion side, he's acting in such a way as uh, to purify me, to deliver me uh, from whatever offense I may have committed and to help others to also um, benefit from this situation. But this has to be understood, but of course, otherwise it would be easily misunderstood. How is the activity of Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra compassionate? You know, could say that it, perhaps even more vivid in people's minds is situations like that where he's fighting and killing. How is this act of compassion? Arjuna didn't think it was an act of compassion. He thought it was incompassionate to fight. One of his arguments was based on this mundane compassion. So without understanding of what spiritual compassion is, pastimes like this remain either totally bewildering or contrary to our understanding. We may reject them or reject the whole basis of the teaching based on these type of external measures, but they're not, they're internal. One has to at least understand the internal aspect, otherwise it becomes just, as some personalities comment on the Gita, for instance, they just take it to mean like an allegorical event, which just represents your, you, you know, the mind and the senses, five senses, the five Pandavas and this, that and the other. And, the, you know, the Battle of Kirkshed never existed and they have all these concoctions. It just basically represents the material world and the forces of good and evil. That's how people sometimes, and that's the beginning, middle, and end of the whole pastime. It's just that we live, we be, learn to behave by supporting goodness and reject evil, or something like that, um, and controlling our senses so we don't become too sinful in behavior. But that's not the purpose. The purpose is way beyond that. The purpose is to surrender to Krishna, to act exactly according to the will of Krishna, pleasure of Krishna. So one should be prepared. Another thing, you, don't, you can't measure the Lord. You can't measure a pure devotee. Not that my, they, they, they're meant to be, they're not under our control. We're being tested that anything can happen in every situation, just like we find ourselves sometimes in unpleasant situations and, and so on and so forth. Or in any situation, maybe alone sometimes, um, you know, whatever it is, uh, different situations the Lord may place us in to uh, test us um, so we become, take shelter of him and not external energy or air conditional natures, etc. But learning to take shelter of him in every situation and being thankful to Teno Kampum, to Sumikshmanam Bunjani Vatmekatavi Pakam, to take shelter of the Lord even in difficult situations and not to try to analyze or whatever it may be. I don't know if you want to add anything to that pastime of Shiva and the saying and how is this related to compassion? It's to release us from the mundane perspective of compassion. Otherwise, we remain in the modes of nature um, and just, you know, don't understand the difference between the soul and the body and what is our spiritual nature, etc. Anything else? Adoksh? Just a... Just to add something on to that, um, um, there's a point that comes up in the uh, Anshalila, uh, chapter 7168, and uh, in that it says, Sri um, Mahaprabhu was actually always merciful. This is in relation to Chota Haridas within his heart, but he was sometimes externally negligent of devotees. We should not be preoccupied with his external feature, however, for if we do so, we shall be vanquished. 
that's a pretty heavy warning. Um, if we see it externally, as if this is some kind of mundane thing or crazy fanaticism or something. Um, Madhavi, by the way, was an elderly lady and Junior Haridas was very, very chaste, uh, very you know, strict. And he was only thinking of the Lord's pleasure. The point is that the devotee is always thinking of the Lord's pleasure and this is the underlying thing. If this pleases Lord Nityananda, then this is the best thing that could ever happen. And he kicked me and, and cursed my sons. Somehow another, the whole purpose of Srivastako had the same mood uh, when his own son passed away in, in, in the middle of the kirtan. They were only thinking of the pleasure of Lord Chaitanya. Haridas was actually only thinking of Lord Chaitanya's pleasure, but Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had a, a purpose uh, to teach, to show. And because he was a completely surrendered, just like Arjuna was a completely, fully realized, self-realized soul, he, he voluntarily placed himself into a position of bewilderment so that Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita, but he was otherwise fully realized soul. We're not, but they are. So they teach, and Lord teaches through his devotees. And of course, later on, Jodha Haridas showed what to do um, if a sannyasi um, falls from his vows. Traditionally, although Prabhupada said that's not appropriate for this day and age. Um, but he, he showed how serious the point is. So to warn and to protect those in that order of life. Um, and then when we were preaching, as in this mission, that's a different thing, of course. But the mentality of seeing the opposite sex as a source of pleasure is, for a sannyasi, is like considered to be like vomiting and then eating one's own vomit. Um, to see the other person as an object of sense gratification. They're not belonging to us, they belong to Krishna and should be engaged for the service of pleasure of Krishna, as his compassion. So with Haridas Jr., of course, he did show, traditionally in India at least, the, the atonement for that is when leaves one's body at Triveni, he went to Triveni, Haridas Jr. went to Triveni, which is a river where the Ganges and Jamun and the Saraswati meet, place called Prayag in India. And he left his body there in the river. He drowned, you could say, in the river there, which was the proper atonement, but Prabhupada did not at all encourage this imitation of such a, a situation, but rather to rectify through other means, or to be honest, and change one's ashram, become a grihasta. Um, but Haridas Thakur was then always, he was a very good singer. And all the devotees were very much, you know, was stunned by the way Lord Chaitanya behaved with him. They all loved him and they couldn't see it as much of an offense. But Lord Chaitanya was resolute. And, uh, but the Haridas was back in Puri in no time in a subtle body, unseen physically, but he was singing to the Lord all the time, constantly chanting and singing to the Lord, pleasing the Lord. And the subtle devotees could hear him singing. They couldn't see him. So, you know, the soul is not this body. Yeah, the only problem we got is we ended it. We think with the body, in one sense, in understanding many of these things. We're so attached to the body and the bodily, you know, how things go in this material world, comparing everything to mundane things, you know. All the problems are based on this racial problems, religious problems, gender problems, national problems, everything, health problems. Cause body is going to get sick, but because if people identify with it, yeah, they suffer. All but due to this missing, mis they talk about reincarnation, but it's, that's the secondary question. If you understand the soul is eternal, what the heck do you think the soul is going to do after the body dies? If the soul is eternal, what's it going to do? Obviously it's going to carry on, so what, are we going to remain a ghost forevermore or what? No. Maybe for some time. You mean they say heaven or hell. What does that mean? Okay, you could say in a subtle form you're experiencing hell or heaven, but it's still you're existing. And it's another form of body. The subtle body is also a body. But you can't usually work with a subtle body the same way you can with a gross body. It doesn't have the capacity to enact the thoughts and desires which are there. It may experience some pains and sufferings and so on and so forth, but it cannot have that form to actually enact how one's desires. You need a gross body in the material world for that, generally speaking. And this one's on a very 
transcend a very elevated platform where the form is of a different nature, but it, in this plane, at least, one needs a ghost body. But because of misunderstanding of the nature of the self, all these, uh, it's not possible to understand these things properly from a material perspective. They're internal interactions with the Lord and His pure devotees. That's why Lord Chaitanya left Navadvi. What a thing to do. Why? Oh, you can say to spread the holy name all over the world uh, <clears throat> so that everyone will respect him as a sannyasi and so on. Fine. That's there. But the internal, there's an internal aspect too to these pastimes. Internally, what, what was the reaction? What was the result of his leaving Navadweep? What happened? All the devotees in Navadweep <coughs> are crying and, and devastated. <coughs> what else did it do? The Lord's leaving, or the Lord's leaving Vrindavan. They got the mature. What does it do? Materially, it seems insane. It seems like cruel. What well, compassion is there? Okay, may say for the people in general, well, what about his mother? Had no husband. He was the only son. Left, left at home, that is. And all the devotees, life and soul with Lord Chaitanya, and he just gets up and walks out. Didn't even tell him practically. Is that compassion? Not in the eyes of most people. But what, what, what is it, compassion? Because it um, allows the devotee to experience a higher level of connection with the Lord through Vipralamba Seva, through our service and separation. Thank you. So internally, it it's immersed all of his devotees in the deepest form of loving exchange, which is known as Vipralamba, at least from my perspective. Separation from the Lord and the intensity of their love and devotion and attachment increases unendingly. <clears throat> and so does his for them. And it's like they're never separated in reality, although it's a different mood, you could say. But it's much more intense and much more ecstatic, although it seems like painful. It's uh, everything spiritually, relationships are full of bliss. So this is an even deeper form of ecstatic devotion. And from a lesson point of view, of course, eventually we're all going to have to bear separation from each other, separation from this, that, the other, and uh, you know, just getting help to realize that that doesn't mean that's the end of the world, where it appears to be. That when this is the time now, we really have to take shelter. To show different things depending on who's see, who, who it is, and externally, of course, compassion to deliver all the living entities by preaching Krishna consciousness wide and far and near, not just in the homeland, so to speak. So compassion in different ways. That's all the time is. These are deep questions. At least for us, you know, when you're when you're only this tall, when you're only that high, even a drop of water is very deep. Yeah. Right? You can drown in a, a little tiny ant, you know, a little tiny drop of water out of your cup. If an ant gets caught in that, it can drown. Elephant won't even notice it. So we're like little ants, you know, so little things like this are big, huge, beyond their swimming capacity. Let's sing one more song. We, sing, we only sang one. Okay. Ashish is, oh, is he here? Here he is. Okay. I held this up. So for you, probably, we're going to sing. Goranga Bolite Habe. Not for you, but you know, because you mentioned it earlier on. I don't know what page.
Chaya Chariya Kabe Abe Ma Kabe Hama Erabo Shri Vrinda Bana Goranga Oli te habe Pula ka shari ra Hari hari Oli te nai Jane Bave ni ra Oranga Oli te habe Pulakashahira Hai Bhai Tenaya Nebhavini Rupa Raghunatha Pade Hai Bhai Kabe hama bujabo se juga la piriti Unata pade hoi be akuti Kabe hama bujabo se to galapiti Koranga Polite Kabe Puloka Shari Hari Hari Polite Nai Yane Vaveni 
Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Just listen for a little bit, you're not quite in the same chord or note, whatever you call it. Hare Krishna, I'll change slightly because I try to get the right line. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna I'll go down a little bit to help you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare De Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Ramo Ramo Hare Hare Oh Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Oh Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 
हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हो राम हरे हरे गौर प्रेम नंदी चिर भार की जे गौरांग महाप्रभु की जय मर्सफुल और चैतन्य So I've got to go out now. Someone asked Lee Guru Arti. कि बोझयो जया गोरचंदे आरोति कोशो गौरचंदे आरोते कशो बानवे बमे गदारे आद्वैत श्रीनी वास चत्र दार कते आद्वैत श्रीनी वस चत्र दार ओसिया गौरचार 
ರತ್ನ ಸಿಂಹಸಿ ಅಚೆ ಗೌರಚ ರತ್ನ ಸಿಂಹಸ ಆರತಿ ಕೊರೇನ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮ ಆದಿ ದೇವ ಗಾನೆ ಆರತಿ ಕೊರೇನ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮ ಆದಿ ದೇವ ಗಾನೆ ನರ ಹರಿ ಅದಿ ಕೋರಿ ಚಮರ ದುಲಾಯ ನರಿ ಅದಿ ಕೋರಿ ಚಮರ ದುಲಾಯ ಸಂಜಯ ಮುಕುಂದ ವಾಸು ಘೋಷಿ ಗಾಯ ಸಂಜಯ ಮುಕುಂದ ವಾಸು ಘೋಷಿ ಗಾಯ ಶಂಕ ಬಜೆ ಗಂತ ಬಜೆ ಬಜೆ ಕರತಾಲ ಶಂಕ ಬಜೆ ಗಂತ ಬಜೆ ಬಜೆ ಕರತಾಲ ಮಧುರ ಮೃದಂಗ ಬಜೆ ಪರಮರ ಸಾಲ ಮಧುರ ಮೃದಂಗ ಬಜೆ ಪರಮರ ಸಾಲ ಶಂಕ ಬಜೆ ಗಂತ ಬಜೆ ಮಧುರ್ 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 ಬಜೆ ಶಂಕ ಬಜೆ ಗಾಂತ ಬಜೆ ಮಧುರ್ 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 ಬಜೆ ಶಂಕ ಬಜೆ ಗಾಂತ ಬಜೆ 
मधुर 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 पाजे मधुर 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 बाजे मधुर 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 बाजे हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल नेताय गौरा हरि बोल नेताय गौर नेताय गौर बहु कोति चंद्र जी वदन उज्वाला बहु कोति चंद्र जी वदन उज्वाला देश बनमाला कोरे जाला माला गाल देश बनमाला कोरे जाला माला शुका नरदा प्रेम गदा गादा शिवा शुका नरदा प्रेम गदा गादा बाकते वे नौदा देखे गौरा संपादे वे नौदा देखे गौरा संपाद की बोझ जाया गौर चंदे आरोती कशोबानवे ततवानी जग मन लोबा गौरंगे आरोतिक शोभा जग जाना मन लोभा गौरंगे आरोतिक शोभा जग जाना मन लोभा गौरंगे रोचिक शोभा जग जना मन लोभा जग जना मन लोभा जग जना मन लोभा 
jaga jana mana loba jaga jana mana loba hari bol hari bol hari bol nitai gora hari bol nitai gol nitai gol Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashatyadeshatarine Prabhupada Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sari Nora Bhakta Vrinda Gauranga Nityananda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadarha Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Gauranga Nityananda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Nityananda. Hare Krishna, Hare 
Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Gauranga. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Kaudani Thai, Maya Poshashi, Kaudani Thai, Maya Poshashi. Jaya Kaudani Thai, Maya Poshashi, Kaudani Thai, Maya Poshashi. Jaya 
Prabhupada, 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 Jaya Jaya, Prabhupada, Prabhupada, Jaya Jaya, Prabhupada, 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 Jaya Jaya, Prabhupada. Nitai Gora Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Gora Hari Bol, Nitai Gol, Nitai Gol, Jaya Vishnu Pat, Paramahamsa, Paribraja Kacharya, Ashtatara Shata, Shishima, the Bhai Charanara, then the Bhaktivedanta Swami, Prabhupada Ki, Jaya, BBT founder Acharya Shila Prabhupada Ki, Jaya. Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Guru Prampara Ki Jai, Namacharya Shila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai, Shurupa Shri Sanatan Bhata Raghunath, Shri Jiva Gopala Bhata Dasa Raghunath, Shri Shad Goswami Prabhupada Ki Jai, Premse Kaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadarhar, Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinath, Shama Kund, Radha Kund, Shri Giri Govardhana Ki Jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Shri Mayapur Dham Ki Jai, Shri Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai, Yamuna Devi, Ganga Devi Ki Jai, Shri Tulsi Devi, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Shri Harinam Prabhu Ki Jai, Shri Sankirtan Yagya Ki Jai, Shri La Prabhupada's Transcendental Book Distribution Ki Jai, Shishi Kaudanitai, Maya Purushashi Ki Jai, Shri Tulsinath Maharaja Ki Jai, Shri Giri Dalilala Ki Jai, Shri Nishingadeva Bhagavana Ki Jai, Shri Mati Vrinda Devi Ki Jai, Nitai Gaura Premanande Haribo. All glorious to the assembled devotees, Hare Krishna. All glorious to the assembled devotees, Hare Krishna. All glorious to the assembled devotees, Hare Krishna. All glorious, all glorious to lotus feet of Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga. All glorious to Srila Prabhupada. Namaste Narasingaya Namaste Narasingaya Pralada Lada Dainé Nanya Kashi Purvaksha Shila Tangana Kalai Ito Nisingo Parato Nisingo Yato Yato Yamita Tone Singo Bahi Nisingo Rita Nisingo Nara Singa Madim Sharanam Prapadi Tava kara kamala vare na kam adbhuta shringa Dalita hiranya kashipu tanu bringa Keshava dhrita narahari rupa jai jagadishahare 
जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे हरे नकाम अद्भुत श्रृंगा तविता हिरण्य कशिपो तनु प्रेंगा केशव तीर्ता नर हरि रूपा जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश जय निसिंग देव निसिंग देव निसिंग देव जय निसिंग देव जय प्रहलाद महाराज जय प्रहलाद महाराज प्रहलाद महाराज जय प्रहलाद महाराज श्री नृसिंह देव भगवान की जय प्रहलाद महाराज की जय घोर प्रेमानंदी हरि गोविंद